Hey, I'm Carter, Precision and Optimization Specialist with Horizon Egg and Turf, and I'm here to show you guys the P600 series drill. Uh, it's available in 60, 70, 80, and 90 feet. So with the P600 series seed drill, it is a solid frame drill, so we no longer have to level the drill. It is the opener that's going up and down. With that, our seed depth is set all off by the packing wheel. On the opener here, the front knife is our fertilizer knife. This is what's fracturing and shattering the ground, as well as placing our fertilizer. On that knife arm, we have a trash deflector. This deflects all the trash and the stubble into the middle of the seed rows. This allows us to have good seed to soil contact. Following that, our second knife here is our seed knife. It's a tapered seed knife. The tapered knife allows dirt to flow back over and to cover the fertilizer trench before our packing wheel comes and closes everything up. Um, on this drill, when you get up and close, you'll notice that on the left side of the drill, the seed knife is on the left side of the fertilizer knife and tapered to the left. On the right side of the drill, the seed knife is on the right side of the fertilizer knife and tapered to the right. This allows the drill to be pulling level and equal throughout the field. So on the packing wheel itself, we have this quick depth adjust system. So all we need for this is two one and one eighth wrenches. The first wrench will open up the claw or the gear and the second wrench will lift the packer up and down. And then we just have to select the depth we want from there. So for ordering options on the opener, we can order either 10 or 12 inch spacing as well as we can order the side band like you'd see here, or we can get the openers in line as well. The P600 series drill is ran off true set in the cab for all hydraulic functions. So what this allows us to do is to set our opening, opener packing pressure, our active wing down pressure, and our hitch control pressure all off, all from the cab while we're operating. Um, behind me you see these two cables, they're attached to a a hydraulic ram and a reverse truss style system. When we increase our pressure, that ram tightens up and it'll take all the weight off the mainframe of our drill and put weight onto the large flotation tires on the back. So any soft or wet conditions, our drill's not as heavy and it's easier pulling. With this, we also have a system override button in the cab. So when we hit that system override button, that ram tightens right up, takes almost all the weight off the drill itself while dropping all the opener pressure. So if we get into sticky or wet situations we can hit that system override button and hopefully get through it because all the weight is off the drill it's on the flotation tires and all the packing pressures dropped so easier to get through conditions another feature on the p600 series drill is all the primary lines are the same length so this helps with equal distribution of our products going from the cart to the towers as well in any high wear areas on the frame as you can see there's stainless steel tubing this just helps with hose longevity as well as if we do have to change any primaries out uh, each length is shorter and easier to change. One of the last things John Deere came out with this year on the drills is color-coded metal hydraulic hose handles. They're a little bit easier to work with and a little bit easier during hookup having them color-coded. Thanks for checking out the drill with us today.